the water car came into the picture when I was uh, cooking. When I saw the water boiled and then the, the water goes to the fire, it increases the burning area of the fire. So I thought then that I am uh, burning the water without me knowing it. I thought it was a water, but I didn't know that because of lack of education. I didn't know that, I didn't even know that there is hydrogen oxygen from the water. So when then when I start uh, doing these things, I tried to measure the call of the fire coming from the water. From there, I thought I could make something out of it, and I worked on a reactor that could use this to, sh to burn or to produce fire, to produce something that out of the water. It was about 30 years ago. 30 years ago. I started. Uh, trying to experiment how to use water and uh, through, the, through a certain vacuum I was ever able to boil the water by means of the vacuum and then I could use uh, vapor out from the water which I don't know if it's a hydrogen oxygen for lack of education and then uh, it burns my eyebrow because of the hydrogen because of this uh, vapor that comes from the water which uh, later on I asked Dr. Luis to explain it to me and he said it is hydrogen and oxygen oh. the OSD. Well, a lot of things happen because not knowing that it is a hydrogen so it explodes right on my face it destroys my eyes, my ears but I still keep doing it because uh, I didn't know the after effect of this I thought it was only temporary, but later on I feel all the sick pain in my body. Well, uh, through the years, uh, using hydrogen, I discovered how to lower the temperature of the hydrogen. You see, when you use hydrogen as a source of fuel, it destroys the liner of the engine, the piston, the valve set. It, you have to change it to stainless in order to use hydrogen. But with this one, I was able to reduce the weight and the load, and not only the temperature of the hydrogen by means of water, by means of air vacuum. Through air vacuum, it lowers the temperature of the hydrogen and it becomes uh, something like uh, coming from the refrigerator and the ice bath. That's why it did not, it will not, or it will not destroy the engine. And that is the trade secret of the engine, of the technology. You have to lower the temperature, the burning area of the hydrogen, so you can use hydrogen. Uh, using hydrogen vapor, which is not a liquefied hydrogen, can uh, we use for one hour driving one liter of uh, one liter of uh, hydrogen hot water converted to hydrogen for one hour driving. One hour driving. Yeah. Now on that is that is on upgrade hill, going up great hill. But going down great hill it will be lesser water. It will be only about less than one liter of water going down hill. Mm -hmm. But on a plain road it is uh, uh, maybe it's less than one liter also. My concern is not being copied. My concern is that it will go to the right uh, direction. There you are. Yeah. Because this uh, invention can also be used on warfare. Can be used on. Uh, can be used for killing people because it is hydrogen. That's why I became cautious because it happens to my part of my body. So when you use this, and what is good in this invention also is that when you use this invention for warfare, it will not easily, it will easily, you, the other side will be, be, be easily be sort of surrender, not going to the extent of a prolonged, a prolonged war. I have been thinking that uh, 
whoever will use this invention in any country will hire 200 Filipinos for each. Uh, and then if they will to for each uh, end user, let's say like in Japan or in States in, uh, in, in Europe, who will be the winning bidder will use the invention. And from there down the, or downward, all the sub, uh, sub assemblies and assemblies of cars can also apply on this, and they will hire 200 Filipinos. Instead of producing this to the Philippines, it will be much better to do this because we will have uh, uh, any part of the world, at the end of the part of the world, Filipinos working. Not what foreigners think of us as a, as a maid or as a, only an errand boy. But we are also a part of this in any part of the world. That is the mission that I would like to do in my life.